going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today's a really short video and it might be one that you guys have heard about. I'm really playing catch up now. I'm sitting in my studio, I'm having a lot of fun, I'm going over news, I'm playing video games, I'm enjoying my PlayStation 4. It's just been a great weekend so far. But I want to talk to you guys about the Xbox One and about the, the impending future. We know that the Xbox Scorpio is right around the corner and that's really exciting. But other than that, we only know about really three or four Xbox One exclusives for the year of 2017. Of course, uh, E3 is up right around the corner. Uh, we know that there's going to be really exciting news coming out of that. And of course, there's going to be game shows throughout the year. At this point, we haven't really heard anything about any new exclusives, even though we know that there are going to be some coming. And finally, we got a little trickle of information from the man himself, Phil Spencer. I'll drop a link in the description. More Xbox One exclusives coming this year than last year, says Executive. 2017 to be quote, good year, end quote, for Xbox, says Spencer. Xbox boss Phil Spencer says 2017 will hold more Xbox exclusive games than 2016 did, that he thinks it'll be a good year for Xbox at the same time as stating that the platform should have more first party games than last year, with great diversity, end quote. He also appeared to tease a new IP, but he later clarified his comments saying he was referring to Rare's upcoming action-adventure game, Sea of Thieves. Xbox console exclusives in 2016 included Gears of War 4, Quantum Break, ReCore, and Super Hot. Meanwhile, Crackdown 3, Cuphead, State of Decay 2, and the aforementioned Sea of Thieves are among the exclusive games confirmed to be on the way to the Xbox this year. 2017 is set to be a big year for Xbox with Project Scorpio launching this holiday. Microsoft may not show it off until E3, but the company has said that development on the console is coming along great. Spencer has been active on Twitter of late. Most recently, he discussed the possibility of Xbox 360 backwards compatibility on PC. He also confirmed Project Scorpio will play some games in native 4K and tease Xbox's E3 showing. So this is exciting news. Uh, you know, it's the, the games that are always the ones that kind of break the earth or break the internet are the ones that nobody expects. Uh, when people saw like Naughty Dog come out with The Last of Us 2, nobody expected that at the end of the PlayStation experience. Microsoft needs to have those ground hitting experiences. This is my thoughts on it, okay? Microsoft has meaningful IPs, but they don't have very many of them. What I mean is, if Microsoft had their own Smash Brothers type of game, there would literally be about eight people. Eight different video game characters. There's just not a lot of characters. You'd have a few Forza cars, you'd have uh, some characters from Gears of War and you know a few Spartans that's what you'd have in this game there really isn't that many characters in the Xbox community of course Crackdown they need to come up with new IPs they need to have they need to open up the door for new talent and new people to imagine exciting new games and new worlds that's what Microsoft needs they need new blood that's literally what they need. They need some new blood to come in there and shake things up and create new and exciting IPs. ReCore is a great new IP for the Xbox One. Quantum Break was a decent, you know, new IP in 2016. Uh, some people liked it. I didn't personally like it. But they need new IPs. They need to kind of crack the ground open with a, a flood of new IPs that are going to really grow and expand the Xbox universe. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there anything in particular you want to see at E3 this year from Xbox, or would you just rather see some new IPs, exciting new types of games? Games like Days Gone, coming to PlayStation, are exciting new IPs, and I think that Microsoft needs to be able to open their door and create new and exciting ones as well. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter. You can share your own videos at BeastlyGamer.com and you can also donate to the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.